Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before, and I'm here with McFarland Toys Mortal Kombat 11 Commando Spawn. This guy and Nightwolf are both shipping right now from Big Bad Toy Store. That's where I picked up mine. And I know what you're going to say already. Doesn't it seem like we get an awful lot of Spawn figures in this Mortal Kombat 11 line? Yes. Yes, it does. Do you have to buy them all? Yeah, of course you do. It's Spawn, baby. You got you to gotta pick them up. Real quick, before we get going, humor me for a second. Because we're getting new subscribers, new viewers every day, I wanna make sure everyone is in the loop. I know many of you came here to this channel for reviews like this one, but there's a wide variety of other content on this channel. Stuff like custom videos featuring custom figures and vehicles. We're doing weekly live streams where we hang out, talk about toys. Sometimes I work on customs during the live streams. We're doing weekly game streams where we're playing through the Batman Arkham Trilogy. Right now we're in the middle of Arkham City, and that has been a blast. We've got shelf tours, collection tours, and we're just a few weeks away from the launch of my very first Kickstarter for my recently finished comic book called Drop Shadow. It's about a graphic designer named Matt Finish, who by night becomes the vigilante Drop Shadow, and he protects Canvas City from bad design. It's a superhero comedy, a bit of a genre parody in the style of the Tick, or Chew from Image Comics. And I'll have a lot more information about that in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. If you came here for the reviews and you're liking those and you wanna stick around a little longer, check out the playlist on my homepage and choose your own adventure. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can stay up to date as all that new information becomes available. All right, thanks for listening to my plug. Let's move on to the figure now. Uh, this is the very narrow Mortal Kombat 11 box. It has Scorpion on there for some reason, but in the box is Commando Spawn. There is that if you're trying to find him near you. Like I said, this came from Big Bad Toy Store. Let's get him out of the box, right? All right, let's take a look at this guy. This appears to be, beyond the cape, a completely new sculpt. I'll, there might be some reuse in the gauntlets and the boot. I'll, I'll, we'll see in a moment when we compare him to other figures. He's a pretty cool looking dude. Again, this is the Mortal Kombat 11 Commando Spawn, so he doesn't quite conjure the exact image of, you know, what I think of when I think of the way Capullo used to draw Commando Spawn, or even, you know, the previous Commando Spawn figures from McFarlane. This is a bit more toned down. He doesn't have stuff just, uh, he doesn't have, you know, all that cumbersome tactical gear and artillery just covering every square inch of his body. Of course, this does have to be a functioning fighting game model, so that makes sense, but as far as, you know, satisfying that classic Commando Spawn vibe, it feels like it only gets halfway there. I think we're gonna have to, uh, I think the onus is gonna be on us to really weigh this guy down with ammo and weaponry, especially since he didn't come with any guns. Let's just start moving him around here. This face looks awesome. I love this bandana around his face. It's soft down here, so it does give a bit and it has tons of range. Arms have this larger shoulder socket to allow, you know, some kind of shrugs and more subtle body language movements that I just always really enjoy. I know I say this a lot, but there's a difference between this and that. I know it seems very minor, very subtle, but when you're really trying to get some like naturalistic dynamic poses, it can make a lot of difference. Pretty, pretty decent double elbow given that he's got some pretty swole pythons here it does not look particularly appealing when you look at it like that but he's got some range and actually you know there's some weird like this spike wants to go right in there i don't know if that's on purpose or not when you when you bend that elbow and you might get a, another centimeter maybe if you shave that spike off not that you'd want to. Uh, the sculpt's really good. It, there's a little bit of paint on it, a bit of a wash to bring out some of the textures of these, like his hands are wrapped, which looks pretty badass. A little bit of differentiation from all those other spawn hands that tend to be heavily reused. Does he have a little, any forward? He's got a, bit, a little bit. He's got a little bit. As far as holding it, he's going to want to creep backwards a bit, but there's definitely, definitely great movement there in the torso. Legs get up really high. This 
creases in a little bit because of these shells on his leg, but I mean, the functionality is great. This is a fighting game character, so you are going to want him to be doing some great poses. He can damn near get in a crouch, which is nice for this, you know, tactical gear commando. A little bit of rotation there at the hips. You know, I'm a big fan of that. Working really great so far. Uh, he's got unsculpted ball joint ankles. But the range is pretty decent. I love the sculpt of the commando boots. Just another bit of differentiation from traditional spawn symbiote. Pretty cool. It's the same cape that we've seen um, a half a dozen times already. It's fine. It looks like it looks in the game. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't, it's not what I think of when I think of a spawn cape. I think of over the shoulders and big pointy. You know what I mean. It is what it is. It's the Mortal Kombat 11 design. They nailed the look of that. It's not exactly what I think of when I think of Commando Spawn. I think he should just be covered with way more stuff and actually capeless. Um, traditionally, Commando Spawn is sans cape, I believe, right? So like I said, he's not quite dripping all the, the tactical military gear that I think of when I think of Commando Spawn. But what is here is pretty cool. A couple grenades uh, and these browns here on his bandolier that go across his chest. This is pretty cool with the shells on the leg strap. Although, you know, there, there's one empty one. It'd be nice if that was actually hollow. That'd be a pretty easy little adjustment to make. Get some hot metal instrument, poke it right through there. That would probably be pretty cake. And then of course the big question, does that gun come out of there? No, it does not. It's permanently, it is not a fully sculpted gun. It is just all part of the holster. Okay, so the gun doesn't come off. That's not the worst thing in the world, especially since they gave him uh, some guns, right? No, no, they didn't. He doesn't come with any guns. He came with the same exact Necro Energy Burst that Malefic came with. And actually, these are very cool accessories for spawn figures and all, but not for Commando Spawn. You gotta give this guy guns, right? All right, so let's give him guns. I'm gonna start him off with this gun that came with Kickstarter Spawn, and you know what I just realized? He's got this, like, I don't know if it's a scuff or it's a paint, like from the dry brush, they accidentally kind of went over and hit that on his chest there. Anyway, let's, um, since we got a new spawn fig, we got to compare this guy to every other spawn ever. We'll start him with these other Mortal Kombat spawns, the original and Malefic. I quite like this red, this shade of red they use, this is a little more desaturated. It looks cool. I have always felt like this figure, everybody loves it, I know. I felt like it was a little overrated. I kind of maybe think this Commando Spawn might just be my favorite of the three, frankly. Oh, and I said we would compare, and it turns out, it looks like that boot is a reused boot. Look at the scratches on it. Uh, and that gauntlet is a reused gauntlet as well. Not a huge deal, not a surprise, just worth pointing out. Let's see him with Kickstarter Spawn and the new Throne Spawn. This Kickstarter Spawn is still, I think, the one to beat for me, he's not been unseated on my shelf. You know what? We should see this guy standing up, though, for a standing height comparison. And then also, worth pointing out, I think some people have suggested maybe taking this piece of Throne Spawn's cape, that of course isn't a full cape, and maybe in conjunction with this Mortal Kombat one. You'd have to make a lot of adjustments. Obviously, these colors don't match, etc. But... There could be some cool options to make this a little bit more functional, right? Let's add Gunslinger and She Spawn in here. Of course, any of She Spawn's weapons will go pretty well with Al. And here he is with some other variants Mandarin Spawn, Ninja Spawn, Raven Spawn, and an OG Spawn 3 from way back in the day. And I gave him this gun that came with V from Cyberpunk. It's kind of a good fit. It even feels a little color coordinated. This gun is badass. The clip actually comes out. Todd, give us more guns like that. Now, as you may know, frequent commenters and participants on the channel are inducted into the From Before Figs Rogues Gallery, and today's entry is going to be the inimitable Bong Man. One of a kind, Bong Man. Thank you for being such a great friend of the channel. Thanks for always coming in with your positive attitude, brightening up the environment, and being an unforgettable presence. Let's hear it in the comments for Bong Man. So that's Commando Spawn. I think you already know if you need this guy or not. I think for me, this might be my favorite of the th of the Mortal Kombat spawn variants. 
like I said, not exactly what I think of when I think of Commando Spawn, but just as far as the figure goes uh, and execution, I think it's great. Might have some weird little, you know, problems, but I think that's pretty easily fixable. The biggest gripe is that he, he doesn't have any guns. Why doesn't he not have any guns? Probably because Todd wants us to go buy his new weapons pack. Can't blame him. I pre-ordered two of those myself. Anyway, folks, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. More reviews and big, big updates coming very soon. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye.